back to A to Z Animals. Today we're talking about the Ocean Cafe where great white sharks gather. But before we get into this video, please consider subscribing with post notifications on so that you'll never miss an upload. More than 70% of the planet is covered with ocean. According to the National Geographic Society, more than 80% of the ocean has never been mapped, explored, or even seen by humans. So you can imagine that there are undiscovered animal species as well as animals that have been rarely studied. One animal we are quite familiar with, sharks, still seem to surprise us with new behaviors. Is there really a remote area of the ocean that draws great white sharks together? Let's discover the Odd Ocean Cafe, where great white sharks gather. The term white shark cafe was coined by the researchers at Stanford University's Hopkins Marine Station back in 2002, when they were studying great white sharks in the area. By monitoring sharks they had tagged, they were able to locate and record where they had traveled over a series of years. The tags also monitored how deep the sharks dived and how long they stayed below the surface. What they found was there was an area in the ocean, halfway between Baja California, Mexico, and Hawaii, where great white sharks gathered. They nicknamed the location the White Shark Cafe. Researchers were puzzled why there was an odd ocean cafe where great white sharks gathered. The satellite images made it look like there wasn't much there. The researchers referred to it as being like a desert of the ocean. But for the sharks to survive for weeks in that location, there must have been some food source. Yes. In early 2018, researchers sent out by boat on the Falcor to study the area in detail. Sure enough, they found the cafe, an area deeper below the surface that wouldn't be picked up on satellite. The area was described to be rich in food and vegetation with a well-established food chain. It made sense why the sharks would migrate there and hang out for a while. If the cafe is deeper than the satellites can pick up, just how deep can sharks dive for food? Sharks don't mind diving a bit to find the good stuff. The tagged sharks were recorded diving 1,500 feet, 460 meters, at the cafe's site. For reference, a football field is 360 feet long. They would make this dive frequently, with some diving as often as every 10 months. When they were tracked on their way out to the cafe area, some were recorded diving twice that distance to depths of 3,000 feet, 910 meters. The Navy Pier in Chicago, Illinois is about 3,000 feet long, for reference. Great white sharks eat. Seals, sea lions, harbor seals, elephant seals, dolphins, beaked whales, tuna, mackerel, oceanic sunfish, some seabirds. Seals! That is what the majority of their diet consists of. When the elephant seals head up to the California coast to mate, the great whites show up for the party because the elephant seals are one of their favorite foods. The great white sharks leave California slash Baja California coast in the spring to migrate toward the cafe area where they will spend the summer. The research indicated that it took most of the sharks around 100 days to make the trip. Their speeds were tracked at an average of one meter per second or 3.3 feet per second and they were recording making dives during the journey to located food along the way. The tagged sharks come from rookeries all along the coast of North America. In the research study done in 2002, the researchers found that three out of the four sharks they tagged made their way down to the cafe at some point during the following six months after being tagged. Interestingly, they also found that some of the sharks summered in Hawaii. Yes. The research continued for years, and by 2006, they found a consistent pattern of sharks traveling to the White Shark Cafe area. Some would make a pit stop of sorts, spending only a little time there, while others were recorded to stay for months. In the fall, the Great Whites will leave the cafe and head back to the coast, where there is a buffet of elephant seals. The elephant seals' breeding season is from mid-December to the end of March. Yes! Elephant seals make for quite a substantial meal. While the shark prey on the younger juvenile seals, they are capable of taking down larger ones as well. Adult male elephant seals are 14 to 16 feet long and can weigh two and a half tons. One of the largest populations of elephant seals comes ashore at the Año Nuevo State Park along the San Mateo coast south of San Francisco. The males arrive first, followed by the females. You can watch the impressive mating battles between the massive whales as they vie for the attention of the females. They rear up and smash their bodies into one another with loud throaty bellows. The Santa Cruz area offers great white shark encounters where you can take a boat out with a marine naturalist to try to find sharks and whales. They average viewing on 70% of their tours, so it might be worth the trip. Some of the great whites they have photographed were around 10 feet. Great whites can get to be 20 feet long and weigh 5,000 pounds. You can see why they would need a well-stocked cafe to keep that kind of weight going. Did you find this interesting? Leave that in the comments below. Subscribe for more animal content like this.